When it comes to networking, you want to prepare to profit. What does that mean? Well, anytime a professional's got great habits, we talked about that in another of the series, whenever a person is setting the right intent, which we'll talk a little bit more about here too, you always want to prepare. So instead of just running out the door, have yourself a networking checklist, or at least be able to know what you should take to every networking event. So let's go over these things. Number one, I probably wouldn't take a dog. But you know, when I take Stuart with me, I have a checklist for him as well. I don't want to walk out without food or water or what he needs, poop bags. <laughs> well, when you're going to go to a networking event, what you want to do is be able to make sure that you have a couple of things. Believe it or not, I'm going to say name tag is number one. <laughs> number two is going to be business cards, which we'll talk about more later. The next thing you're going to want to take is the proper attitude. A third thing, or a fourth thing, by the way, that we've got is, what are you wearing? Are you wearing something that's going to draw people to you, or are you just going to roll in and whatever you've got on? And by the way, dog hair is fine to wear. <laughs> and then, the last thing you want to do is have some sort of place or system for how you're going to capture the people that you meet and how you're going to remember them. So that would be a business card system. Or, if people don't have business cards, which is more and more I'm finding, how are you going to remember them after the event is over? Yippee! We're going to a networking event, right? New attitude. And by the way, that's the attitude. Yippee, I'm going to a networking event. Or, opportunity, rather than yippee. I'm going to a networking event. So, what is your intent for this networking event? One of the things that I see a lot is that people have way, way, way too intense goals. Matter of fact, they think to themselves, you know what, I'm going to go to this networking event, I'm actually paying for a booth so that I can meet 10,000 people because that's how many come to this event. Or I'm going to meet 500 people because that's how many pet owners are going to be here. This is an unrealistic goal. <laughs> and what would you do with 500 people anyway. What would you do with 50? So here's what I would say. Set your intent for something that's reasonable for you to do follow-up. What would be reasonable to do follow-up? Only you know your schedule. If we knew that there were going to be 500 or even 50 at this particular event, or at this park, or at this dog thing, we would look and say, could we meet five people? Would five be realistic? What would my business be like if I got five new pieces of business from this event? Five. What if you only got two pieces of business from this event? Hmm, I wonder if it would be worth the hour that you spend. <laughs> that was a little rhetorical question. But the real goal here is we go in and we think, oh my God, there's so much opportunity here. We miss all the opportunity. So what I would ask you to do is focus in on a realistic goal for every networking event you're going to go to or every time you go out of your house. Can you meet two new people? that could be possible clients for you? That's doable. Two. Two each day that you go out because you've got your name tag on, because you've got a business card, because you've got a capture unit, and because your intent is, how do I serve you? Now, I haven't talked about that a lot, but here's the difference between many, many networking events. People come in and say, how do I sell you? Here's what I do. Here's what, I mean, it's all about me, 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 and more me. Okay, here's my business card. We're just, we're throwing up on them, basically. When really and truly it should be, how do I serve you? Or what do you need? And possibly, if you're talking to somebody for a while, you realize, not me. <laughs> you don't need me at all. And if that's, that's a good thing, move on to somebody else. But if you set your intent for only a few people that you can actually have a deep conversation with that ultimately would turn into business, win. Win, win, win. <laughs>